Good morning everyone, here is another video for you. As you can see this is HP 17-N013NA. This is a 17 inch one of the old HP Omen laptop and the battery is faulty. So today in this video I'm going to show you how simply you can replace the battery. Okay, so first of all you need to get the right replacement battery. There are two types of battery for this model. As you can see, I printed on it, it says 16 pin. Okay, some of them 16 pin, some of them 12 pin. So make sure you count the pin when you open up, or you can check it with your own battery. So that's the model number 17-N013NA. So HP always, they make this sort of complication. So you always need to check the actual part number and also the physical difference. So when you order it, make sure you see the photo illustration and try to find the similarity and order it. So first of all, switch it off, disconnect any sort of cable and with any sort of precision Phillips screwdriver, take out all the screws. So all the screws gonna come out except two center one. Okay, when you unscrew it, those things doesn't come out, stays there, but easily you can pull this off. So take a flat opening tool and spudger it from the front side to the back and it should come out easily as you can see. So when you use any sort of metal tool be careful don't put too much extra pressure that might damage the plastic. So once the back cover off what are you going to do? We're going to disconnect the old battery first. The battery is secured with few screws as I can see here three screws which are silver one or four screws. Just take those four screws out. So let's pull this out and it's gonna be disconnected. I have counted, I found here is 16 pin. So I would have a replacement battery, which is 16 pin. Now we can pull this off straight away and it should come out without any struggling. So that's the actual battery. Let me show you the model number. I believe this one has six cells. And here is the replacement battery. I can see those are similar and 16 wires in there. So let's put it back. We just need to reverse back what you done. That's how simple it is and then put all the screws back. By the way, on the next video, I'm gonna show you how to clean the thermal paste and reapply the thermal paste. Also clean the heat sink and everything because this machine is quite old and I can find a lot of lags when I try to edit any videos on play any games. And I found the actual thermal paste is completely dried off and both of the fan blocked with a lot of dust. So I'm going to show you in the next video how to pull this heat sink out and give it a proper clean so that would increase the lifespan of this laptop. Regardless of this model, it should be applied for any gaming laptop. 